Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we are making Zazuela de Mariscos. Zazuela de Mariscos is a um, very, very flavoursome um, Spanish seafood stew uh, that you'll find along the Catalan coastal region. Packed full of flavour, we've got a chorizo based, got tomato, it's got a, uh, a, a wine fish based stock. Um, seafood, we're talking uh, prawns, we've got some mussels, we've got some sea bass going in there. Would have liked some clams, uh, maybe some squid, um, but there wasn't any fish mongers today. But it's really a case of um, use what you can get your hands on. I always recommend making your own fish stock. Um, the, the depth of flavour you get from making your own stock compared to buying a cube or one of those little pots um, is so much better uh, and it's so simple. We're going to be cooking this today on the Kadai fire bowl. We're going to be hanging a cooking bowl on a tripod over the fire. First things first, let's show you the ingredients and then crack on with the stock. We've got um, a sea bass that we've asked our fishmongers to fill it, um, but we've kept the um, bones and the head because we're going to make a lovely stock out of that. Got some fresh mussels and some fresh prawns. These we're going to shell and we're going to devein. Um, we're going to keep the heads and the shells, they're going to go into our stock. Mussels we're going to give a clean and de beard. Fish bones going to go into the stock and this fillet we're going to chop up. So we're going to be cooking in the cad eye fire bowl as I said. We've got the tripod hanging over the fire cooking bowl. So let's go ahead and start making our stock. I find there's really no need to overcomplicate stock. Um, so all we're going to use is some onion, got some herbs here, got some parsley, thyme, rosemary, a couple of bay leaves. We've got the fish head and bones and we've got the shells uh, and the heads from the prawns and of course some white wine. So nice and simple, start with some oil in the pan and we're going to gently fry off the onions. To the onions we're going to add the fish head and the bones and we've got these prawn shells and heads from the prawns that we've um, shelled and peeled and deveined so we're going to get those in all of that is going to add bags of flavour this is going to make an absolutely fantastic stock so if you go to your fishmongers and you're buying fillets get them to give you the, um, the whole fish the rest of the fish and use it to make stock. Same with prawns, if you're going to buy prawns, try and buy them with shells on. I know it's a faff to shell them and devein them, but you can't put a price on this stock. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with about 250 ml of white wine. So that's been nicely bubbling away. We're going to go ahead, add in some herbs. So we've got some rosemary thyme, some parsley, and a couple of bay leaves. So just get those in. Now what we're going to do, add about a litre of hot water. And we're just going to let this simmer away for about 20 minutes. You don't need as long if you're making a meat stock or a chicken stock, fish. You only, you only really need to simmer it for 20-30 minutes to get all the flavour you're going to get from those shells, from those bones, from those heads. Any of this scum foam on the top, just skim it off as you go. And we'll see you in 20 minutes. And this is what we're left with. Beautiful colour. That's our stock. We're going to go drain this through a colander, through a cheesecloth, into a jug. And that's going to be the stock for our seafood stew. That's the stock done. Let's crack on with the main event. First up, some oil in the pan. And to that, we're going to add this chorizo. We're just going to cook this for a couple of minutes, just to render out some of that fat, crisp it up slightly. Once you're happy with that, just going to spoon that out, leaving the oil in the bowl. And then we're going to sweat down the onion and the red pepper. You want these nice and soft, so we're going to cook these slowly for seven or eight minutes. Look at that lovely colour from that chorizo oil. Once the veggies are soft, we're going to go in with the garlic. Got about five cloves. So we've got one onion, one red pepper, five cloves of garlic. And just cook that garlic 
for about a minute. Next up, go in with about a tablespoon of tomato puree. And again, just cook that for another minute, just to reduce the bitterness. Turn up the hob. Season with some salt, about a teaspoon for now. And then we're gonna deglaze the pan with about 250 ml of white wine. Bit for luck. And again, just as we did with the stock, we're gonna let that boil away for a few minutes, burn off the alcohol, reduce down. But so far, it's made them pretty damn good. While that's still reducing down, we're gonna go in about a tablespoon of fresh rosemary, and a tablespoon of fresh thyme. Got a good pinch of saffron, a couple of bay leaves, a good pinch of pepper. Let's give that a quick stir. That wine's reduced down nicely. So in with a tin of chopped tomatoes and a good couple of teaspoons of smoked paprika. And follow that up with that lovely fish stock that we made earlier. We've got just under a litre of fish stock. So chuck that in. It's all adding to the flavour. The smell is incredible. That's been simmered away nicely. So we're going to add the chorizo back in. And in with these ground almonds. You want about half a cup. And then we're going to add in that bass. We're also now going to go in with these prawns that we peeled and deveined. We want that to come back to the boil. We've just added the mussels. <coughs> um, remember with your mussels, if they don't stay closed when you're cleaning them, debearding them, get rid of them. Um, lastly, you want a good, good squeeze of lemon in there to just balance it out. Probably about, a, about one lemon. We'll go with half and see how it tastes. Got a look at that already. Isn't that looking fantastic? If that isn't a bowl of comfort, I don't know what it is. Cooked over a fire on a cold winter night. That is sure to warm the cockles. Gonna go in with the other half of the lemon. Squeeze that in, catch the pips. You don't want those in there. So squeeze that in and give that a stir. And last, a bit of parsley for garnish. Just sprinkle as much or as little as you want. And we are done. All that's left, grab yourself a ladle. Grab a big old spoonful. In it goes. And there you have it. My Spanish seafood stew, zarzuela de mariscos. Grab yourself some crusty bread and just dig right in. Of course, we're not done until we've had a taste. So let's go in, bit of that stew, bit of prawn, bit of the chorizo. Oh my God. Sorry, talking with my mouthful, but oh my mate, that is packed with flavour. Give it a go, a lot of fun cooking on the cat eye over fire on a winter's night, creating a dish like this, absolutely banging, happy days. Mm -hmm.